Block and the rest of the fintech providers got hit pretty hard last week when a European provider came out and said that consumers were spending significantly less. Even though Block hasn't reported its quarterly report, this made investors and traders a little bit nervous and sold off Block pretty substantially. For me, the long-term bull thesis in Block is based on its management. Jack Dorsey, who's the CEO, created both Twitter and Block and has demonstrated that he really can innovate over time. Block got its start providing small businesses with the ability to take credit cards, but it has since expanded dramatically, and its Square Cash app is hugely popular with both Gen Z and Millennials. However, between extremely high interest rates and the fact that student loans have come back on, this particular cohort is going to be spending less, which means that fintech will see pressure going forward. I've been in Block since 2016, so I believe in the long-term thesis in Block. However, it's important that you need to manage your risk. At this point, I have taken all of the original capital capital and significant profits out of this position. So the risk factor for me is lower than it would be for somebody who's entering in brand new with real capital. However, after the sell-off block is near its pandemic bottom and it's significantly off of its high near $300, floating right around $40 as of the recording of this video. So when block did sell off this week, I decided it was time to add more to my position. My next buy order filled on October 27th, adding 2.53% to the position at 40 dollars and 26 cents. This buy locked in a 58.64% discount on shares that I sold for $97.34 back on June 17th of 2020. I will continue adding back into Block, but I am going to use small quantities just to manage risk in case we see a really dramatic sell-off. But my next buy target in Block is at $35.64, slightly above a key level of support it saw when it recovered from its pandemic bottom. I will also start taking profits in Block if it reaches the high that it saw just in July of 2023, a few months ago, with my next sell target at $80.26.